everyone, welcome back to The Casual Puzzler. My name is Emily. This video is going to be about puzzles that didn't quite work out. Now, this video was originally supposed to be my 12 hour puzzle challenge. I was so excited to wake up this morning and have 12 hours of puzzling. I just finished a term, tomorrow starts a new term. So for me, I had one day to get as much puzzling done as I wanted and it didn't quite work out because the three puzzles that I did, or two that I did, one that I started, they all had some issues one way or another and it just like lost all motivation to go any further. The three puzzles that I either started or did today, the first one is called Uninvited Guest by Suns Out. We have this one from New York Puzzle Company called Catch a Guinness. The third one is from the brand American Flat and it's Autumn Affinities. I'm going to show you the clips of me doing these two. I don't think I did too much on camera, but I do have some initial thoughts from when I was doing the puzzle. I have a little bit about this one, but not really because I kind of gave up after about an hour and a half. So, so I'm going to show you that first and then I'll come back and give you like a rundown of each of these puzzles and my thoughts and experiences with them. So puzzle on the one Dave picked out for me and I'm kind of nervous about it. I have I've already talked about Suns Out before where I've had just some difficulties with them in the past. So this is from Suns Out. It's uninvited guests, but it is very appropriate since Halloween is right around the corner and it is a haunted mansion. The only color in it are those two jack-o'-lanterns. I feel like this one's going to be maybe the only puzzle I do today. We shall see. Um, but let's just get started. So sorry this is a weird angle and I don't even know if I'm in focus. But this is completely different than the other Suns Out puzzle that I've done before because it's traditional puzzle shapes where the other one that I did was crazy puzzle shapes and it was impossible. So I'm actually really excited about this. The piece quality seems really nice, super thick pieces, a bit crazy shiny, but I'm excited. I feel like it'll be a little bit easier than I was expecting. And here is Ziggy. Hi, bud. I just finished puzzle number one and I knew this was probably going to be the longest one so the time for it was two hours and 40 minutes and I'm missing a piece so let me show you what it looks like so sad because I really was enjoying it so it looks really cool it was pretty tricky but not impossible um, but as you can see missing a very clear piece up in the corner and I didn't move from my spot so it's definitely the puzzle brand and not me because um, sometimes it could be a cat. I also noticed that like the bottom inch is actually cut off from the picture on the box, um, which isn't a big deal, but that's something I noticed. And then there's some quality issues with the puzzle, but overall for the price, I want to say these are around $13.99. It's decent quality other than the fact that it is 499 pieces and not 500. All right, puzzle number two is this one from New York Puzzle Company. It's called Catch a Guinness, and I'm so excited. I've come across a couple of quality issues, like all these ones over here arrived bent or wrinkled or the pictures coming up. 
right here I just have my edge pieces and then these puzzle pieces over here are stuck together and if I go to pull them apart they start to rip so I'm just leaving them together but that's quite a few pieces that are having some issues um, also in general the puzzle looks very grainy so not the quality I remember from doing their puzzles before I mean they are nice thick pieces but this one's having some issues so this is where I'm at currently. I actually started with just the Guinness Time letters and not necessarily the edges, which I will be doing next. But these pieces are so secure. I can pick up this whole entire thing with no issues. Well, just a little bit, but very tight fitting pieces. And I just wish that we didn't have so many like broken pieces. Well, not broken, but just bent out of shape pieces. And then these guys, I mean, they'll just be friends forever, but that's where I'm at. All right, well, it's quarter of four. Puzzle number two is done. I feel like I'm not getting as many done this time as I did last time, but I'm still having some fun, and we are on to puzzle three. Um, this one I have a lot of thoughts on, so stay tuned until the end. All right, so puzzle number three is very fall appropriate. It's called Autumn Affinity. It's by American Flat. I've never done this brand before. It's 500 pieces and it looks like it'd be fun. You know, just very bright colors. And I'm feeling I just want something just like bright and fun at this point. So pulling this one out and we'll see how it goes. far as I've gotten and I really don't have the desire to go any further um, this puzzle is one way too shiny so as you can see I can't really do it underneath this light because it's way too glossy but also pretty much every piece goes together somewhere or another so I've been trying to do this section for about an hour and every single piece fits together also when I take the piece out once it doesn't fit it's been pulling up the corners so it's ruining the puzzle I'm just done um, so wasn't quite the experience I wanted to do today, but you know, I think I'm going to change this video. So you probably will already see that in the intro, but anyways, oh, well, I just don't care to do puzzles. I don't like, and I am not liking this one. So that's that. Now that we are back, I'm going to go into my thoughts and opinions and my gripes about the brands. I'm trying not to be too negative because that would be a really annoying video to watch. But I do just want to show you the things that didn't work out for me or the things that I found annoying or issues with the puzzles. That way, if you want to purchase one of these, you know going ahead of time what I've experienced. And of course, the puzzles that I've done doesn't speak for the whole entire brand. Maybe I just get a dud. Maybe it's just like a little blip in their quality control. I know there's a whole bunch of different reasons of why my puzzle may not work, but other people's do. But I just wanted to give that little bit of a disclaimer before we get into this. So the first one that I had done was the Uninvited Guest by Suns Out. Now, the puzzle piece shapes were really cool. They're pretty much traditional shapes, but a little bit of a unique cut. Not as crazy of other Suns Out puzzles that I've seen where it's like crazy crazy. Um, this is still very doable. Almost reminds me of like a Cobble Hill type of puzzle cut. I do love the image. I thought it was going to be extremely difficult because the only color is the two jack-o'-lanterns and everything else is like a gray tone. So it's lots of gray, lots of black, lots of like like light blues but it is doable because there's a ton of different textures I actually found the areas up here where there was no texture probably the easiest part because in some cases the different stones look pretty similar but it took me around two hours and 40 minutes to complete so it was nothing crazy um in general i did like this one but i did have some issues with one i was missing a piece um i know it wasn't a cat because i had never left my spot so it's definitely the puzzle and not me. I mean, sometimes I will take the blame if a piece is missing and I've left my puzzle in 
unattended for a little bit, but this one was definitely not me, never left the puzzle. So often the puzzle pieces seemed like they weren't cut all the way through with their laser cut or however they make the puzzle um, because either pieces were stuck together and I had to rip them apart or there was extra cardboard on the inside of the ends. So nothing crazy, didn't damage the puzzle and it still ended up looking fine, um, but the piece missing is a big deal to me and it's $13.99, it's not crazy pricey. Another little thing that's again, not a big deal, but is something that I was wondering about when I was first doing the edge is that the edge is actually cut off around the whole entire bit. So when I you look at my image on the box versus my image in the puzzles, it looks like it's just missing like a half inch all the way around, um, which is just kind of annoying because especially when I was doing it, I feel like that I was expecting this to be further up and it wasn't. I was expecting these to be further up and it wasn't um, because it was actually missing probably like a half inch of the puzzle overall. Again, not the worst contender in these three, but it is some things that I want to mention and why I brought it up in this video. Puzzle number two, I was so bummed about because I have done New York Puzzle Company before and loved it. This one, I don't know what happened to it, but it had some serious quality issues. So this is the New York Puzzle Company Catch a Guinness. It's been on my wish list for a long time. It was on my wish list back in May when I did that original video. So I was so excited to pick it up. The box is nice and matte, really sturdy cardboard, and the pieces feel amazing. Like they're super thick and chunky pieces. As you saw in the video, I had a lot of issues with one, a lot of the pieces actually came bent or looked like they had bent in processing and it, there was a wrinkle. Some were so bad that I had to like straighten them out to even fit in their place. I also ran into a, a lot of pieces, like I would say over 20, maybe up to 50 pieces came together with another piece. But these ones couldn't get pulled apart without damaging the other piece. So another huge gripe about this also the pixelation in this puzzle was ridiculous um it was so grainy to look at all the colors were faded and i know it's supposed to be like vintage but it didn't look vintage it just looked like it didn't have the right amount of color in there and it was just really disappointing in a whole bunch of different aspects to the point that i don't think i'm going to be purchasing much from this brand in the future so had a lot of issues with this one which is sad the next puzzle that i did or started to do was this one from american flats i'd never done this brand before i did get it second hand so i do want to mention that because Maybe some of the issues I have is because it's secondhand, but I really don't think so. I only got maybe a fifth of the way done, maybe not even that far. I didn't even do the full edge because I was starting in this corner over here. And one, this puzzle's way too glossy. Like I couldn't even do it underneath this light because it was just shine city, so I couldn't really see it. Also, this puzzle does have paper backing. So having a paper backing doesn't mean it's going to be a horrible puzzle, but sometimes it does ruin the longevity of a puzzle because it may pick up the piece corners which i am trying to make that make sense but pretty much when you take apart a puzzle sometimes with a paper backing it pulls up the image at the same time and that you could see happened when they took apart it originally because almost every single piece had the corners pilling up also most of the pieces could fit together i had only done this little tiny section and i probably had at least 20 to 30 pieces in the wrong spot at one point to the point that i couldn't figure out this section because every single piece fit and that just drove me nuts i was done doing junky puzzles for the day i couldn't deal with the shine i couldn't deal with how like frayed around the edges it all was and so i was just like done with this one so many different issues with it everything that i don't like like i don't like glossy pieces i don't like a lot of puzzle dust i don't like puzzles that have paper backing because it ruins the puzzle and i don't like puzzles that have a loose fit and so this checked all those boxes so i just gave up on it but it didn't work out but i'm glad i did buy it second hand because if i bought this new i would probably be a lot more disappointed than i am so those are the three puzzles that i did during my 12 hour puzzle challenge even though i only lasted about half that so those are the three puzzles that i did today that didn't quite work out for me out of the three the one i would probably buy again 
is Suns Out because I really did like their puzzle quality and in general it wasn't horrible um, but I am hoping that it was just like a miss it was just like a one-off that I got one that had a missing piece in it um, but the other two I really don't think I'm gonna be buying from in the future but let me know your experiences with these brands have you had similar have you had similar things happen or is there another brand that you feel like the quality has gone downhill since COVID and all that? Because I do know that every company had to adapt in some way or another. So maybe they had to use different manufacturers um, because I remember New York Puzzle Company being pretty amazing. And now this one was not what I remember. So maybe that is also something that may have happened to these puzzles, but I just wanted to make this video and that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.